On the screen here, we're looking at the Bears Ears Buttes in southern Utah. These two formations are at the heart of a possible new national monument that we're hearing might be declared by the Obama administration next week. Now, there's been a lot of debate about the Bears Ears, whether or not they deserve federal protection under the Antiquities Act. And just to give you an idea where they sit in southern Utah, let's take a look here at Google Maps. This looks like a bunch of green, some roads, you have no idea where it is. So I'm going to zoom out here. The closest feature that you'll see is Natural Bridges National Monument. This is an existing natural uh, national monument that covers a very small piece of area that is west of Blanding. So if you've ever been in, down in uh, San Juan County, the small town of Blanding, Bears Ears sit right here in this area, but a national monument would be much, much larger. It would actually potentially cover an area from way up near Canyonlands all the way down to the San Juan River. And uh, this gray area down here is the Navajo Nation Reservation. That would be kind of the southern border. This area right here, Cedar Mesa, extremely high concentration of Native American uh, artifacts and dwelling sites in that area. Right now it's largely governed just as BLM land. Uh, some of this green area here is Forest Service land. This is Dark Canyon, a uh, very wilderness-like area. Of course, over on the west side boundary, you can see Lake Powell, and the green area here is administrated uh, uh, by the National Park Service. So this whole area, this big triangle between Blanding, Monticello, almost all the way up into Moab is potential fair game for a new national monument. The proposed Bears Ears National Monument centered on those two buttes right here.